In this video, I review Bodies, 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 directed by Helena Ryan, who is Dutch. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is a horror mystery with sprinkles of millennial satire. First, I'll give a summary of the film and then my overall thoughts. I saw an advanced screening at Comic-Con San Diego with the director and the cast at the Music Box Theater. Amanda Lustenberg, who plays Sophie, is the protagonist. Sophie invites her new girlfriend, B, played by Maria Bakalova, to a hurricane party at a mansion in a remote area. The party is being thrown by five of Sophie's lifelong friends who are in their 20s and from extremely wealthy families. The friends play a party game called Bodies, 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 hence the title of the film, where a killer is anonymously selected and has to kill one person in the dark. When someone is actually killed, the friends fight to discover who the killer actually is. Overall, I love the whodunit thrill of trying to unravel the mystery, who is the killer? The breadcrumbs dropped along the way lead the audience in one direction, but in the end, the signs pointed in an entirely different direction. It is a horror comedy. However, the comedy in the movie never pulled me out of the story. I was invested in the lives of the characters and wanted to know how the story ended. I think the goal of Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is to offer compassion for people who are in need of professional help and learning forgiveness to move forward to create authentic relationships. Many of the characters were stuck with a pre-existing idea of who they thought their friends were and couldn't move past the fully formed image. Because of this, their friendships were superficial and continued due to longevity and not substance. They became frenemies and fake with each other. One major issue I had with the story is that the characters were extremely wealthy. I have a hard time rooting for wealthy people. I prefer my characters to struggle and have real obstacles and figure out how to lift themselves up. Because they were wealthy, in some scenes, credibility was lost. And I felt that the story was shifting and commenting on the uber wealthy and how the uber wealthy generated more wealth during the pandemic and how the poor should rise up. The tone shifted, but the movie went somewhere else completely. But maybe that was on purpose to serve as a distraction. And a minor issue I had with the movie was the final line of the film. It was meant to be light and humorous. However, I think a different character should have had the final line and it should have had a more serious tone. Other thoughts, Amandala is perfect as Sophie. It is her nuances and choices that create a dynamic performance. There is a thin wall of caution that she has built into the character that worked well. She doesn't want to revert back into the old Sophie, but the party and the events that happen are pushing her towards old Sophie. I also love that Sophie is black, gay, and flawed. Sophie having been in rehab has not spoken to her friends in some time, and it creates tension at the start of the film. The person who dominates the screen with their presence is Jordan, played by Mahala Harold. This is the first film that I've seen this actress play in, but it was a masterclass in acting. She never dropped character. She became Jordan. And this is so subtle, but after seeing this, I believed everything about the character. Armpit hair. From seeing that, I knew Jordan's backstory. Jordan also helped push the film into the final act. Something happens in the final act that is not logical, even if you have witnessed significant trauma in a short period of time. I will let you decide for yourself. If you watch the film, DM me your thoughts on the final scene. With Pete Davidson, I felt like he was cosplaying a younger, constipated version of himself. I think that's what the role called for, and he nailed it. Lee Pace stood out as well for his commitment to the role as Greg. The scene between Lee and Pete is one of the best moments in the film. My second and third favorite moments are the discovery of something that should not be in Sophie's car and a shadowy figure holding something that they should not have. I won't spoil it for you. At every moment, once you think you have solved the mystery, the mystery unfolds even more. I will say that when the film ended, I stormed out of the theater. <laughs> However, as I stormed out, I bumped into Amandala outside. 
Seeing her calm me down and I realized that I didn't dislike the film. I wish it ended differently. I know lesbians will pack out theaters to support this film. Two lesbian-led shows, First Kill on Netflix and The Wilds on Amazon Prime were canceled and the fandom is contemplating petitions for other streaming services to pick up the shows or protesting slash rioting outside of Amazon and Netflix headquarters. Amazon is not pleased with their spirited comments on their official Prime account, so they've been deleting them. Hopefully both shows are picked up because they're really good. In real life, Amanda Lestenberg identifies as gay, Myhala Harold identifies as gay, and Lee Pace identifies as queer. One of Lee's first roles in film was playing a trans character in Soldier's Girl about the life of Calpurnia Adams. My final thoughts. If slasher films and films with millennial satire excite you, then Bodies, Bodies, Bodies might be the wet dream you need to put yourself fast asleep tonight. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies was released nationwide in theaters on August 5th. On August 5th, the film has a 91% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, but it keeps going up like every minute that I check the website. If you watch the film, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Who had the best performances in the film and your favorite line from the film? If you haven't seen the film based off of the trailer, who do you think the killer is? For those who have not seen it, no spoilers. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writervicyates for more about my art and literary projects. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and become a member if you can. Like and share this video. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.